This is one website where you can buy and sell YouTube channels. Seriously, take a look. Let me show you all of these weird, wild, crazy YouTube channels that you can purchase, that you can just buy, that you can take into your own possession all of the work that maybe someone else has made, whether that channel was hacked, compromised, or is just uh, being sold. This is accessmarket.com or accstacmarket.com and it's your reliable partner for buying and selling YouTube channels. And it's not just YouTube accounts, as you can see, you can get an Instagram account or a Twitter account or a Facebook group or a page or Discord accounts or Telegram channels, anything on social media. All right, all right, so first of all, we have to know, is the Linus Tech Tips YouTube channel available for purchase? No, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, so let's get one that is pertinent to what we do here, right? Hey, let's get some cybersecurity or tech or ethical hacking, penetration testing, red teaming, all this stuff. I don't know. Is there anything that would match what we do here on the John Hammond YouTube channel? None of these. <laughs> let's go to the next page. How about that? Reddit rabbits. That's weird. Chris Tech. Chris Titus Tech. I don't know. Crypto Party, Game Tube, Ghost Duty Zone, Easy Tech, Project Crypto. All right, let's say 500,000 subscribers to a million subscribers. Uh, subject should be education or technology. Uh, let's see. Oh, Prem Motivation, Motivational Series. I don't know, $3,200. I could do that. Hey, that would be a bump. 732,000 subscribers, bringing about 1,500 a month. Let's buy this channel. So we can either buy with the bank transfer, PayPal, Bitcoin, Zelle, Venmo, et cetera, Walmart. Okay. <laughs> Enter your email. Uh, let's do like a 10 minute mail thing. Here we go. 10 minute mail.com. Let's grab that email address. Paste that in here. Let's go ahead and create. Please read the terms and conditions. Access Market is an independent platform for the exchange of social media pages. By accessing or using Access Market, you agree to be bound by the terms and conditions. Not an auctioneer, does not sell digital assets, blah, 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 blah. Oh, there's a lot here. Attention, Access Market is not responsible for what happens after the listing ends or after the completion of a sale. So you can just get, you can get scammed. You can get scammed while you're purchasing a scam. <laughs> Scamception. I have read and I agree. All right. Here's my request to purchase the Prem Motivational Series from Real MM. Is that mid-level marketing? Is that what that is? Are you forgetting? Normally you have the L in there. Normally it's MLM, right? Oh, I can enter a message. Hello, sir. I would like to purchase your YouTube channel. Send. Yeah, now we're a business. All right, let's wait on that. Let's see if this fellow ever gets back to us. He was last online four days ago, so I don't know. Anyway, after I released the Elon Musk crypto scams video on my YouTube channel, I received this email. Super duper sweet. I always appreciate getting some input, getting some feedback, getting some messages. And they say, hey, I was digging into these Elon Musk YouTube crypto live stream scams, and I was able to track down and find that they were coming from some underground Russian marketplace known as Zelenka. I recently made a blog post about it, and I thought I'd like share it with you. So I did ask this individual, hey, are you totally cool with me showcasing this in a video? and appreciate their generosity. They say yes. Here is their blog post. Credit where credit is due. This is from Skull over from storew.net. However you end up saying that, I'm sorry. It says, send me your Bitcoin and I'll double it. Recently, a whole lot of cyber criminals have been compromising YouTube channels to scam innocent victims. Uh, I'll tune into this live stream, whether they're impersonating Tesla or SpaceX or any of these crazy shenanigans, just as we saw with the recent Linus Tech Tips YouTube scam. They dive into that oftentimes these hackers and threat actors and adversaries do get access to these YouTube channels by sending out phishing emails, fake sponsorship emails that ultimately contain malware. Stuff like the Redline Stealer, Raccoon Stealer, Vidar Stealer, Jupiter Info Stealer, all these other things, and even some of the recent malicious Google ads like we've seen with OBS Studio and plenty of others. They all typically end up linking to some weird, random, and wacky, hey, Tesla bull, Tesla now, Tesla live, whatever, crypto scam where you could double your money if you sent some Bitcoin, but you never ever do. It's just stealing money from you. The webpage is usually nice and pretty though. However, they dig into one example here, noting that this teslabull.io is actually registered with one of the domain registrars, nick.ru. Apparently, nick.ru is a Russian registrar and it's not possible to pay 
pay money via cryptocurrency. However, they oftentimes want to end up using these Russian registrars because they can't as easily be taken offline or off the internet. So they use these domain resellers like Cheap Privacy or XUID and all these weird looking spots that'll end up giving you that service for you being the middleman so you can still have your website hosted, not be taken down, and you can work through the cryptocurrency payments. Huge kudos to this individual digging into some super cool stuff on all the different tactics, techniques that they might be using here, whether they're using a distributed denial of service guard or, or some Russian protection services, or even using some techniques like fast flux, where they're going to end up having different redirections or different pages that will loop them and bring them through different end endpoints so that they don't ultimately get to the real site other than through a significant number of reverse proxies. I for one think this fast flux thing is absolutely crazy. It's kind of cool. I've showcased this at least in a very, very watered down and distilled representation as part of the capture the flag challenge, but it's basically that. Now here's where this gets a little bit interesting, kind of cool, kind of shady in the cybercrime world. And let me show you. The individual tracks down a post on a cybercrime forum, Zelenka, originally known as Lowell's team, where a member is offering access to a service known as Toolkit, that where you can easily set up these phishing websites. All these different pages with Shelter, shelter.to, as we saw in the link here, and their Toolkit. Now I checked in with a person who emailed me and I asked them, hey, would you be willing to share more? Can I see that? thread, that forum post, do you still have access to shelter.to? Is there more that we could dig into here? Unfortunately, they said it was just recently taken down. There is an archive version that we can take a look at, and there are a couple other screenshots that we might be able to take a peek at, but they do have the original forum thread on Zelenka. Now, real quick, before we take a look, I do want to give a little bit of love to today's sponsor, so please bear with me. Hey, let's give that shout out to Sneak. I'll be honest, I write bad code. Even though I try to hunt for vulnerabilities and lots of other software, I still have vulnerabilities even in my own projects. Everyone does. And that's why I use Sneak to scan for vulnerabilities in code, dependencies, containers, and configuration files. And Sneak helps find and fix those vulnerabilities in real time. You can try it and see for yourself. You can sign up for free with my link below, import your repositories, and sit back and let Sneak do the work for you. It'll find the flaws and vulnerabilities in your own applications. Check out this prototype pollution vulnerability that Sneak uncovered. We can see more details about the code path that introduced this vulnerability, and even learn more about this kind of vulnerability or any others if you check out the Sneak Learn Lesson. I've referenced the Sneak Learn Lessons and their vulnerability database a ton, especially in assessments and penetration testing, and even during Capture the Flag competitions. From there, you can see an explanation of the flaw, proof of concept exploit code and attack demonstrations, and most importantly, how to mitigate this vulnerability. But the best part? Sneak helps you fix this vulnerability with a single click. It'll automatically open a pull request so you can just merge and move on. So seriously, check out Sneak. It's crazy how many vulnerabilities could be affecting your projects and you don't even realize. Take advantage of their resources and learning material and learn all about the different vulnerabilities out there. It's completely free and you can sign up right now with my link in the video description. Huge thanks to Sneak for sponsoring this video. All right, now let's go take a look at Zelenka.guru on that thread here. And this is it. This is Shelter. It says, hey, if your language is English, please go ahead and press the button below. I cannot read that, so I will admit I, I, I have to see it in English. I'm sorry. <laughs> So the post says, my friend, are you a crypto streamer? Answer these four easy questions. Are you tired of eternal abuses from hosting? Are you tired of every time trying to register a new domain? Or beggars who are asking the site for ransom? Or even are you tired of installing templates every time you get a new domain? Do you want to get rid of this headache? Man, look at that business. That is a wolf of Wall Street that made selling anything. He could sell me a pen. You should learn more about Toolkit. Toolkit has the most extensive functionality and has no other competitors in the market. You could automatically install on a website, purchase domains via Toolkit, auto issue SSL certificates, information on visiting and copying schedules. A couple of these, I'm kind of curious, maybe it's Google Translate not bringing it through or whatever translation thing, just not keeping it the, the best uh, language translation here. But there's that unique wallet for every domain, hey, a unique support chat for every domain, changing of the wallets, having a Telegram bot, comprehensive protection against denial of service attacks, full abuse resistance, and all of that stuff. If you had an account here at Zelenka, you would be able to go ahead and view these links to purchase it or access the Telegram channel. However, we can guess that pretty easily. And 
And maybe, you know what, we should probably sign up and create an account. That would be fun for a little bit of a video. Now, all the conversations in Shatter Hero, I very see, is, is funny. They're from banned accounts. Uh, but they say, hey, you know, take a look at this thing. Take a look at the platform. I got a subscription the other day, and I really recommend all the other newcomers to get into this thing. The toolkit is the creation of geniuses. Absolutely everything for streamers is collected in one place. And you can take this with a grain of salt. Whether or not this is real, whether or not it's legitimate, I don't know. But from what we've seen of the screenshots, it's kind of pretty cool in that cybercrime sense of what you might be able to do and what hackers throw to action adversaries have the capability with all of this stream jacking, phishing live stream uh, framework here. Note that the author of this blog post, Skull Wright, was able to take a look at the toolkit and did have access to it for some time, however it's taken down, but they had some pretty wild pictures. And that, like, look, if you were to actually interact with this thing, you would be able to choose from different templates, like spinning up a phishing scam, creating the fake landing page, creating all of this Bitcoin, hey, buy, take, double your money facade, it's all in one go. They're the same QR codes you might see on the silly YouTube live streams, and it even gives you an SMM panel to bot YouTube views to appear authentic to victims. You could literally just say, hey, I want to go to this YouTube live stream, and I want to have everything kind of just funneling towards that. Apparently from this screenshot here, you could gain access to this shelter.to, this toolkit for what, 1500 a month? They do a little bit of due diligence on the victims that fall for this, as we've seen even with with the Linus Tech Tip ones, there are some folks that fell for this. Poor people that literally sent money to this website, like sent Bitcoin and cryptocurrency funds, expecting to get something in return, but never receiving something. When SOS Intel was tracking this, seeing the Linus Tech Tips channel and the Linus Media Group all be compromised, taken a cover across YouTube, channel eventually taken down, they did note, digging into the Linus Tech Tips forums, one member was able to go see the Bitcoin address that was listed on the fake scam page that maybe shelter.to or this toolkit or any others like it generated, 37 people fell for the scam and actually sent money to the Bitcoin address. At the very end of Skull's blog post, they do reference and mention Access Market or accs-market.com, where they note, look, any threat actors or adversaries, even if YouTube finally terminates a channel, whether they were using it for their live stream and for their stream jacking crypto scam, they can move on to hijack another one that their redline malware stealer or any of those malware would have been able to take advantage of, or they might just purchase a stolen channel, whatever is sold, compromised, or however is listed on accessmarket.com, and they can continue to do damage. I appreciate them kind of honing in on this. Like, look, it sucks that you have to get to that break Breaking point. Uh, we'd like to see a little bit more proactive efforts from the system itself, but I've discussed that in the previous video on how Linus Tech Tips was hacked. And uh, look, I want to apologize. I realize the whole substance meat of this video came from Skull and that original blog post, but I just think it's crazy and wild how a whole lot of cybercrime tooling, a whole lot of threats, hacks, real genuine compromises or breaches, that big bad B word, come from easily accessible tooling. Like, it has become so commoditized and it is genuinely a business and marketplace to buy and sell access to information, to data, to access, like social media channels and YouTube channels themselves. Could you find my channel out on whatever dark web, clear net, I don't know, marketplace and compromise and do what you do for cryptocurrency, <laughs> Bitcoin scams, man, you know what? Maybe, uh, I heard this at a recent security conference, uh, between all the other threats that are out there, between all the damage that could be done, crypto miners, cryptocurrency, man, that, that is the, that's the threat we deserve. <laughs> Hey, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was kind of cool to look behind the scenes, peel back the layers here. If you did like the video, YouTube algorithm things, like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. And I hope we can dive into more just like this in upcoming videos. Talk soon.